You might have seen as well these uh, statistics that were released today by the CSO that electricity consumption by data centres increased by nearly a third last year. If you go back to 2015, go back even further, they used up about 5% of our electricity on any given day. That's now closer to 15%, so a threefold increase in that time. And it has led some to call for a ban on any more data centres being built here. Breed Smith is a people before profit at TD. Breed, do you think we should stop the proliferation of data centres? Absolutely. And uh, we had a bill last year before the House to uh, try and implement that and put, get, to give it a legal shape on the basis that it's unsustainable. It's utterly unsustainable and it makes a total mockery of any hope we have to reduce our emissions um, and that all this extra energy is going into a proliferation of data centres beyond which no other country in the world really is experiencing. We seem to be just lawing while you're letting them rip. Uh, whereas other countries ensure that only up to about 3% of the national grid, power from the national grid is used on data centres, even countries who have a huge amount of them, like Germany, um, only allow them to go to, to about 3%. We've gone from them being at a consumption of around 11% last year to 14% this year. So, and, and it's only going to go up and up because of the amount of applications that have been granted and the amount of applications that are in the queue waiting to be granted and the statements that have been made by the Minister and by the crew themselves that mm. there really is no need to reduce the uh, the, the amount of data centres coming into the country. So uh, currently they're, they, they use about, as I say, about 15 or 14% uh, of our uh, electrical output on any given day. I mean, I'm sure that's higher than you'd like. Having said that, you're, you're not talking about getting rid of any data centres that currently exist, are you? Just a ban on any more data centres. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I mean I'd want to be so needed now to come on and say I don't recognise um, the, the, the value of data centres when I'm on a call that requires data centres and I'm conti- continually on meetings that require data centres for storage of stuff that allow us to do Zoom calls and to, to, to make sense of the world that we live in. But the proliferation of them in Ireland is absolutely unsustainable and out of control. And I think these latest CSO figures uh, are another illustration of that. And so we're saying, stop it. Stop giving out planning permission. Don't have any more. We have more than our fair share here, more than any other country in Europe and beyond is tolerating. Conor Skeen is a Sunday Independent columnist. He's former chair of the housing agency. Conor, should we ban any more data centres being built here? Um. Not ban, no. I mean, the the comments that are being made by Breed Smith there uh, are extremely sensible and reasonable, uh, provided they're they're put in the context. Ireland has problems that a lot of the rest of the world would love to have. They'd love to be able to attract the kind of inward investment we get. And uh, we have been very, very successful, and we seem to continue to do it, not just in this sector, but there's a whole bundle of sectors like this that go all the way through from information technology into pharmaceutical and, uh, and food products. So we're very successful at attracting these. Uh, I think that there is certainly a case to be made for planning things and having clear targets and clear uh, market shares, if you want to call it that. Uh, the problem is the problem is that by talking about it in terms of data centre, we're continuing to let the people who we really should be scrutinising off the hook. Air, Airgrid, to their credit, said this would happen back in 2012. Nothing has been done about it. We've given tons of power to the Commission for the Regulation of Utilities. Nothing's been done. Everybody's acting like this is a huge surprise. Long ago flagged, long ago it's been planned for, and it hasn't been. And all this talk about breed, about, about uh, banning or restricting data centres is deflecting from what we should really be doing. We're just asking, why the hell have we gotten to this position? And how would we have avoided getting to this position? We would have done two things. Uh, I think that we would have made sure that there was the correct amount of generation and switching capacity, that locations should have been designated for the supply and that uh, inward investment should have been targeted towards those areas that have been pre-strengthened. And also, I think the point that's being made, which is that we should have a clear menu, so to speak, as to how much is enough. Uh, Ireland would end up with a, a bigger proportion than other countries because we're so successful at attracting this type of work. But I do definitely think that there's a good case to be made for having clear targets as to what's enough and also to what the entry ticket is. So if you're coming to Ireland, you're going to use that kind of electricity, show us your credentials, show us what it's going to be generating from, show us that you can do it from renewables and uh, that you've got a good balance. So uh, I'm I'm not for a moment disagreeing that there's an issue, but I am saying that the position of saying ban more new ones 
uh, is a very blunt instrument to use for a very complex problem. Uh, Breed, what about that? Maybe a, 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 a more nuanced approach, less an outright ban and maybe a kind of making it slightly trickier in terms of planning to just get them and, and build them wherever you want. A commitment to you know, sourcing that electricity more from renewables. Um, I don't agree with it because I think what it's doing is it's trying to shift away the focus on the problem onto something else, which is, you know, Connor mentioned crew, often others give out about air grid, whatever body is established, the blame is often, you know, in, in an opaque way, passed on to them. There's the possibility, of course, many people will talk about move them from outside Dublin. Um, there's supposed to be a ban on them, any more of them being developed in, in, in the Dublin area. But we saw a plan information being given for one recently. And there's the talk of using renewable power to power them. But even if they all put their all their renewable power together to, to uh, and this won't happen, by the way, to power each centre that's in the country, we're still ignoring the fundamental issue, which is that all renewables that we can get our hands on, excuse me, I'm getting over a bit of a, a virus, all the renewables that we can get our hands on need to go into doing other things for society in order to reduce our emissions. We saw the big row about turf last week. We have to bring our emissions down and we have to become a sustainable economy and this is not sustainable. Mm-hmm. And the idea that other parts of the world would only love to attract in Microsoft and Google and LinkedIn and whoever they are, eBay and all the rest of it, and give them what we're giving them, I don't accept that at all. The reason they're here is because they they get a, a handsome uh, tax break. And on top of that, because they're here, it's then, oh, I'll do what you want. You can have as many data centres as you want. It doesn't really matter. I don't accept what Connor is saying. And, it's, and, and if, if what he is saying was correct, then we would still continue to build uh, and have a proliferation of lo- loads mm. of data centres. That's basically what he's saying in a different way. So his argument is let's remain unsustainable. Connor, is that what you're saying? Deputy. No, deputy. And I mean, you know, I was I was acknowledging the the reasonableness of your position and your concerns. And uh, I think yourself and Kieran, you as well. You know, by beginning to use words like proliferation, uh, you're already trying to stack an argument. We certainly need to have more of them. We will certainly need to continue to grow. But I'm I am completely on the deputy side in ter- terms of saying we need to regulate and manage. You've been a bit sensitive there now, Connor. Already. Proliferation is just a word. <laughs> You're being a bit sensitive for me drawing attention to stacking it. But going back to it, I mean, the, the big issue, uh, Deputy, you know, you're somebody who's, who has been a standout ethical politician. Uh, we have to ask the question, if it's not going to go here, where do you advocate sending it? Do you want to advocate environmental dumping, sending it to a less we- well-regulated place? I mean, that, you know, if you're going to have something like this, have it in a highly regulated, modern, advanced economy like Ireland, where if our people are going to be asked the kind of, you know, searing questions that you're asking them, they'll have to answer them. They'll have to answer them. So, you know, th- this is the type of place you need to give people hard challenges is in a country like this where they have to answer to people like you. That's, that's the right place for these to be.